as I have grown and maturing, I checked a lot of things and I realized certain errors I made, unconscious errors, when I was growing up. Married very, very young at the age of 23. Didn't understand a lot of things. Ministry was tough in those days. So my life was always on the road. I was always gone. I was telling them about Bishop Ben. I used to go six weeks, sometimes eight weeks, to North America, South America, Asia. Travel for days to be able to make ends meet, to provide and take care of the family because the church couldn't take care of me. And I learned, I learned very early not to depend on tithes and offering and depend on people because that will wound you. I had one experience and I said no more. I'm not depending on anybody but God. And I realized when I look back and I look at the lives of my kids, I realize that there is a vacuum that has been created that is going to take a lot of grace and wisdom to bridge that gap. And this was what created the vacuum. I was never there. I provided. I paid their school fees. I made sure they had everything they needed, but I was never there. And I'll go. And even when I come, most times I'm tired, so I have to sleep. And by the time I'm up in the morning, they've left for school. Because I wake up and pray at midnight and go back to sleep. So by the time I'm up, they've left for school. By the time they come back, I'm in the office. When I come back from the office, they are asleep. When they wake up, I'm asleep. And it went on for many years. And I realized just recently by revelation that I was an absentee father. That even though I loved them and I cared for them, I lacked understanding of many things that is not just provision and providing, but you need to have that emotional connection. And it wasn't there. So they have to raise themselves and they got to learn to be survivors and create all kinds of things in order for them to survive and to fill that void. But Nobody can fill those void and nothing can fill that void but the love of a father. And it is taking a lot of work to try and bridge that gap. Yesterday I took my grandchildren into the pool and I started doing aerobics with them in the pool. And as I was dancing with them and exercising with them in the pool, I realized that that was what I should have done when my children were like their age. And let me say this to you. Let me say this to fathers and mothers. I know you mean well. And I know you love your kids. And I know you got to provide and smith. And you got to go out there and work and fight. Because life is tough. And life is not fair. And life does not give you what you desire. Or expect by what you fight for. But in the mix of fighting for everything to provide for them. Make a little time every now and then to bond with them. Because you're going to need it. Because if you don't bond with them now, there will come a time and there will be such a vacuum between you and them that it's going to take a lot to fill it. One of my sons, he don't call me dad. I've done everything to say, listen, I'm not saying, I'm not saying, call me dad. And he keeps unconsciously calls me, say, say, say. Because he never saw me as a dad as he was growing up. He saw me as sir. He saw me as this anointed, gifted, powerful man of God, but not a dad. Because I was never around to play with him. To do things with him. So he can see me as a dad and a friend. And I'm trying to make it up. To work at it. To bridge the gap. And he takes everything you can take, you can think of. He takes every grace. He takes every humility. He takes all your humanity. Madula kasa. I was talking to my, one of my bishops and I said, I said, young man, how many kids you have? He told me, what is their ages? And I said, please make time. Make time for those kids. I said, you can replace your wife. You can replace anybody, but you can't replace those kids. They are born of your bone, flesh of your flesh. And it is your blood that flows through their veins. Make time 
connect with them right now because a time will come when it may be too late and it will only take a divine intervention to bridge the gap. So they grow up. They grow up with all kinds of attitudes. And sometimes you ask, you say, what is this? What's going on here? It began a long time ago. We call them trauma. 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 And it, it, it creates triggers. Things will trigger them. The trauma causes triggers. And you see them doing things, acting out of character. And you actually say, what did I do wrong? You didn't do anything wrong. You just miss certain moments. There are moments in life that fathers and mothers must never miss. Adela ki salatazund, ketu kusand, ke la kusu wadala hasa, adili ki motun ki falasid. One of my children's birthday was up, and he said, Dad, my birthday is up. I need you to be around. And I'm supposed to travel. So I called my travel agent and I said, you know what? Cancel the ticket. Said it to cost. And I said, it doesn't matter what it costs me. Cancel the ticket. And she said, Dad, you can travel. You can travel. You can go. I'm fine. I'm okay. And I said, no, you're not okay. I'll be around. I'm not going. Even though she said, you can go, you can go, you can go. She doesn't mean it. Oh. She doesn't mean it. And it will be held against me one day. And it will pile up and add up to all the time I've been absent. So I said, I'll cancel myself. I'm not going. I don't care what meeting it is. I'm not going. I'll be here. And she said, when will you go? I said, don't worry. She said, oh, but you can leave that now. I said, no, I'm not going that day. I'm not traveling. It's your birthday. I'll be here. Nothing matters by your birthday. I'll be here. Because if you don't let them know that they are precious, they are important, they will grow up with this sense of they don't matter when they matter. And they work like they don't matter. And do things like they don't matter. And you ask yourself, what did I do wrong? You didn't do anything wrong. You just missed certain moments. Le kutu kafasala. Salakatung kawasalan bevan kuwahasan ei lusulu wasin akusu wala hasan kifulu kufasa kusulu kifasa amisuku amisuku mehusundu masit. Don't miss those moments. Tell somebody. Don't miss those moments. Don't miss. Don't miss those moments. Yeah. 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 Certain moments when they are graduating, certain moments, weekends when they are in boarding schools and all their friends and, 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 and loved ones, their families are coming and you are not there. And I wasn't there also sometimes because I was busy somewhere. And just putting them in a boarding school and paying those expensive school fees, I thought was okay. But that wasn't okay. And why is their friends, family, and parents come to be with them? And they are all alone and away from home. Father is not there. Mother is not there. You have no idea the damage. You have no idea the impact it does on them. The rejection, the torture. The torture and the sins, the feeling of abandonment and rejection. My dad is never around. 